My name is Olivier Taché, and I am in charge of the SACS platform here at CEA Paris-Saclay. In this video, I will present how we use Monongal Square scattering instrument for the characterization of nanoparticles. The principle of SACS is to eliminate a sample with a monochromatic beam and to collect the transmitted X-rays. X-rays are very sensitive to the difference of electron density in the matter. Through the sample, a small part of the incoming X-ray will be deviated without modification of energy. Looking at different angles, we enable to obtain structural information about the sample at nanometric scales. SACS is also a non-destructive technique. We can use it for a large variety of sample types, like solids, polymers, gel, powders, or suspension. This is the sample that we use for the emphasized project. Most of the time, the only preparation consists to adapting the sample holder or the sample thickness to match the X-ray penetration constraints. With a single sax measurement, you can analyze a drop of suspension. Usually, for the suspension, we use small glass capillary and we just put it on the sample holder. In the case of the nanoparticle characterization, the small angle X-ray scattering is a very significant method. The structural information are average over more than 10 power 10 nanoparticles. Here we use an instrument from the Xenex company. The X-ray produced by this microsource and gives a very buoyant monochromatic X-ray beam. To minimize attenuation and parasitic scattering from air, between the X-ray source and the detector, the beam travels as much as possible under vacuum. After the sample, the signal is collected at different angles on this large detector. The distance between the sample and the detector can be modified depending on the size range of interest. From the detector, we obtain an image representing the X-ray scattered by the sample. This image is used to arrange the intensity as a function of the scattering angle. The shape of the signal as a function of the scattering angle is sensitive to the nanoparticle size, shape and polydispersity. The intensity of the signal depends on the sample composition and concentration. In the NP size project, we have worked with monodispersed spheric silica nanoparticles. Measurement of such samples gives typical periodic oscillations, which strongly depend on the nanoparticle size. We use a dedicated software to analyze the signal. From such scattering curves, the size and polydispersity of the silica nanoparticle is obtained with a very good precision. The precision is less than one nanometer. The concentration is related to the intensity collected by the detector. This type of laboratory instrument is very suitable for the nanoparticle characterization because you have a very stable source and an accurate detector. On the detector, you can directly integrate the intensity of the X-ray through the sample. Another interest is you can change and measure the distance between the sample and the detector. We can correlate the angle to the meter and to the international system of units. And because the size of the nanoparticle are related to the angle, we can say that the nanoparticle size are traceable. Our partners from the PTB in Berlin will demonstrate that in another video. SAX is a very well-known technique. You have around 30-50 mm line and a lot of commercial laboratory instruments. Here at CEWA, we use this laboratory instrument for a very precise nanoparticle characterization. In the next video, I will present you an another laboratory instrument, how we prepare the samples, and how we do the data treatment for the concentration measurement of the nanoparticles.